Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at the junkyard and what I'm going to show you is the 2006 to 2009 Ford Fusion. Now this is going to be a relatively in-depth, not, uh, not super in-depth, but we're going to go over some of the history of this vehicle, what it replaced, trim levels, options, and such. So this model started in 2006 and it was to replace the Mercury Mystique or the Ford version, the Ford Contour. Which, it was a really good replacement actually. And it's still around to this day. But not this model, of course. <clears throat> so, the first generation ran from 06 to 09. You had SE, SEL, S trim levels, and you had a few engine options. You had a 2.3 liter inline four, and a 3 liter V6. The 2.3 liter inline 4 was a Mazda derived engine and the 3, the three liter V6 was a Ford engine. It was the Duratec V6. Now the styling was totally new for Ford. It was a, a whole new design language for them and I really like the design language they're going for on it. In fact, I owned a 2009 Ford Fusion. And it was also the first mid-size car that came standard with a six-speed automatic transmission with the V6. Now, that was a six-speed ASIN transmission. Now, that ASIN transmission was very good. And also, it was not a six-speed automatic in the 2.3 liter. The 2.3 liter had a 5-speed Mazda transmission in it, and yeah, that was a that was a decent transmission too. You could get also a 5-speed manual, but the manual transmission was only available in the 4-cylinder model. Now, it wasn't supposed to be available... Unless it was custom order, of course. Was an SEL with a manual transmission. Now, that's what mine was. It was a manual transmission, but it was SEL trim level. Now, I really do miss my Fusion. I love how simple they are. The piano black trim looked beautiful. There was this trim in the SEL. You could get sport. You could get a sport appearance package, which changed that to look more sporty. And it was like, um, I forget what it was, but there was like a, some sort of wood grain trim. There was a whole bunch of stuff. Now, this one here is an 07. You had side impact airbags. I believe those were standard. You can get a sunroof. And that package was called the Moon and Tune package, which gave you an upgraded radio, upgraded sound system, and a sunroof. Mine did not have that. I wish it did. But look at that, guys. It just... It's so nice. It, I really do want one again. 6 CD radio changer came standard in the SEL. Now, the SEL could be had with cloth seats. But this one has the upgraded leather seats, which are also heated. Automatic rear view... Rear dimming... Auto dimming rear view mirror. <laughs> wow. Mike, spit out your words better. Um, the back seats on these was actually really nice. Really big and they were mm -hmm. super comfy. You had an armrest in the middle, which was also standard on cloth and leather interiors. And this one's actually super clean inside. Oh my gosh, it's good. New brakes on it too. And this one was a front wheel drive model. This was a V6 front wheel drive SEL. So to get leather, you had to get the SEL. To get heated seats, you had to get the leather. So you kind of have to go high trim level to get the nice options on these. You have heated mirrors on the SEL. And one of the things I absolutely hated about them 
these lights and these tail lights. I hated the style of them. I blacked those right out and all this chrome had to go on the back and as well as all the chrome up here had to leave. It was just awful. Now, for mileage, these got about, with the four cylinder, I can confirm this one because I own one, about 26, 27 miles per gallon average, which really wasn't bad for what is a full size car almost. And they're quite comfortable to drive. They have double wishbone front suspension and well then one of the major problems which is a really small problem is these control arms here the ball joint wears out because it takes on a lot of stress so you'll have to replace those a lot on these but they're really not hard to do and on top of that this handle here, these interior handles like to break. But honestly, these are great cars and they actually just did a refresh for them in 2010. Because they were selling so well and proving to be so good, why change what isn't broken? They did of course put new engine choices in on some degree and new transmission choices. They improve the fuel economy and the power and the safety ratings. But for the most part, they stayed the same from 2006 all the way to 2012. And you know what, guys? I really want one again. But I would go automatic in V6 this time. Sacrifice a little bit of fuel mileage, but get a nicer car with more power. And it would have to have a sunroof this time, too. Anyways, guys, these cars are great. I would totally love to get one again. And if you guys want one, there really isn't many major issues with them. The ASIN transmission's great. The 3 liter V6, yeah, it's got to take us, but everything does. But it's not bad overall. Now, the stupid thing is the water pump is driven off this little belt under here. So that's a really stupid design on Ford's part, but you know what? I see these high mileage all the time. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.